What's up everybody, this is Mari from Mari's Review Channel. Today I'm going to cover the NVIDIA Shield, the 500 gig. Stay tuned! What's up everybody, this is Mari Mar doing a review of the NVIDIA Shield. This is the 500 gig. Got this box in today. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, and we got the box open. Got some bubble wrap. Keep it protected. Okay. And this model did come with the actual remote for it. Okay, and this is the actual box. Okay, and this is the actual it's an Android TV, it's got voice search, movies and TV in 4K, games, here's some of the apps that it actually has on it, Vivo, Crackle, Plex, PBS Kids, NLB TV, Pandora, Sling, YouTube, Hulu, movies and TV, and games. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it over and open it. And this is, like I said, the 500 gigabyte. Okay, let me go ahead and open it and we'll be right back. And this is the NVIDIA, NVIDIA Shield. It's really thin. Uh, not as light as I thought it would be. It's a little heavy, but not too bad. This is the front of it. Power button. Got its vents right here. It's the bottom of it. And here's the back of it. And we've got your HDMI, two USB ports, a micro USB, an SD card. I guess it'd be a micro. Some more vents right here. And your plug. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. And you've got the standard remote. Okay, and you've got your HDMI cable. You got your USB cable. You have your power cord section, as the power cord section comes in two different pieces. As you can see, this is the second piece. It just kind of slides into here. Oh, I guess it snaps in. And that's how you put it together. Of course, you want to take the plastic off when you do plug it in. And this is uh, the power charger part. Okay, let's go ahead and connect it and we'll come right back. And as you can see, it's starting up. Okay, now it's asking us to hold the button until the controller light flashes, which you'll see right here. I'm going to go ahead and set it up. Okay, I'll go ahead and put on my Wi-Fi and I'll be right back. Okay, now it's connected. Now it's connecting to Google.
This might take a while. I guess not. Now it's telling me to sign into Google using my laptop or my password. And I'm going to go ahead and sign up in here. And we will be right back. And it's signing me in. Okay, it's asking if we want to use, if we're agreeing to the terms and services, which we are going to. Looking for our location. Now it's upgrading the software. This part is the part that will take a while, depending on, I guess, your internet speed. So we're just going to go ahead and wait for all this to download um, the software update, and we will come back once it is already updated. Okay, once you install the updates, you're gonna. It's going to ask you to turn it off. So I can continue to uninstall the updates. And then you'll get this logo again. I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this to load. Now it's continue. Yep. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and wait for this to turn on. It's saying, do I agree to the license and software agreement? The policy, yes, we're going to go ahead and push continue. Okay, this is basically telling you what these buttons are on the remote. And this is going to tell you that the voice search on the other remote, the home, the back, the volume control. And the setup has been completed. And this is the main screen. These are your, I guess, your recommendations right here. Go down here, this is the Shield Hub. This is your apps right here. You've got your Google Store, your music, the game, Google Play, photos, videos, and Plex. And of course, you've got YouTube right here. You've got the settings button, your Wi-Fi, your remote, your power button. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's click on YouTube. It's got a newer version. It says to install now. It's going to go ahead and install the newer version of it. Okay. We're going to go ahead and install this and we'll be right back. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and open it. And we're just going to go ahead and play. Let's do this trailer. Okay, and there it's playing. And we're done. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. some more videos on YouTube. Go ahead and go back out to the main screen. 
and you have your settings. So this is what basically the NVIDIA Shield looks like. Um, you can actually push this button and while you talk, you can talk into the remote, which is right here. And it will basically do what your cell phones do. So if you have any questions or comments, please do so below. Please like and subscribe.